and welcome to the part 2 video. So in the previous video, we already learned how to find the pattern of a given sequence of numbers. And in this video, we're going to look at two special types of mathematical concepts which are related to the patterns. Okay, the first one here is the Pascal's triangle. So you can see that we have a triangle here made of squares. And then starting from the top here, we have the value of 1. And then here we have another 1 and 1. So this is one row, this is the second row, the third row, the fourth row, the fifth row, and this row can continue. So you can see that all the rows here all starts with 1, ends with 1. Okay, in this third row here, we have 1, starts with 1 and ends with 1. Then how about these values here? How do we get this value? We can find this value, we can determine this value by, by adding the numbers from the two squares above this square. For example, you see, for this square, the two square above it is this and this, right? These two square are above the number two square. So if we add these two values, you will get this. One plus one, you get two. I give you more examples. Now, remember every row starts with one and ends with one. And how about the values in between. To find the values here, for this square, we add the numbers from the two squares above this square, above the one marked with question mark. So 1 plus 2, 3. Okay? 1 plus 2, you get 3. Same applies to this, you find the two squares above it, 2 plus 1, you get 3 as well. So we can continue to fill in all the squares beneath it. Okay, 1, 1, and 1 plus 3, you get 4. Then 3 plus 3, which is 6, yeah, you get 6 here. Then 3 plus 1, you get 4. We continue, 1 plus 4, you get 5, and so on. Yeah. And 4 plus 6, you get 10. And the last row here, 1 plus 5, you get 6. 5 plus 10, you get 15. 10 plus 10, you get 20. So from a Pascal's triangle, we can form various number series with certain patterns. Okay, what does this mean? So right now, if we look at these numbers that I circle, Okay, starting from the top here, going down, we form the sequence of 1, then we have 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we form a sequence of numbers. And now, what is the pattern here? You can see that from 1 to 2, we add 1, right? From 2 to 3, we add 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, so hence the pattern is adding 1 to the previous number. If we now take these numbers, we have 1, 3, 6. You see, from 1 to 3, we add 2, right? 3 to 6, we add 3. From 6 to 10, we add 4. From 10 to 15, we add 5. Now, you can see that the pattern here is by adding 2. And then after that, for the next value, we add 3. We add 4. And then we add 5. So in the previous example, we haven't seen this type of answer before. You'll learn more about this type of pattern in the future. So from here, you can see that if we take different series of numbers, different series of numbers here, we will have different patterns from the sequence formed. So previously, we already looked at the concept of patterns. And here we try to look more into the patterns of a set of numbers, which means it is a sequence of numbers that arrange according to a rule. So the rules here can be adding three, uh, minus or subtract 4 or multiply by 3 and so on. So there is one of a very famous uh, set of numbers which has a very specific rule. This number is called 
Fibonacci numbers. Fibonacci numbers is a sequence which starts with 0 and 1. Okay, so it starts with 0 and 1. And then it follows the pattern of adding the previous two terms to get or obtain the next term. What does it mean? Okay, so if I want to find the third term, okay, this is the first term, the second term, this is the third term or the next term, I need to add the previous two terms. I need to take 0 plus 1, I'll get the next term which is 1. And if I want to find the next term, I need to take the previous two terms and add them up. I'll get 1 plus 1, I'll get 2. So if I want to find the next term, I need to sum out the previous two terms, which is 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2, I get 3. And then to find the next one, it will become 2 plus 3, I get 5 and then 3 plus 5 I get 8 and then 5 plus 8 I get 13 8 plus 13 I get 21 13 plus 21 I get 34 and so on this is Fibonacci numbers so Fibonacci numbers is a very famous sequence of numbers and we try to use this pattern to solve the following examples Okay, so complete the following Fibonacci number sequence. So here we are given the first two. So to find the next term, we just add up or sum out the previous two terms. So 5 plus 8, we get 13. 8 plus 13, you get 21. So 21 plus 13, you get 34. 34 plus 21, you get 55. 55 plus 34, you get 89. And then for the last term here, we need to add up the two, the previous term, 55 plus 89, you get 144. So in your textbook, uh, page six there, uh, on top of the page there is one part with uh, Think Smart. There's a drawing which is related to Fibonacci squares. So you can try to understand the drawings. So if you have problems with understanding the drawings, you, you can look at how I draw it based on the Fibonacci numbers so we start with one square so one square has a unit of one right? it means that the length of the side here has a unit of one we try to draw squares in the spiral movement so we try to draw the square in this counterclockwise movement we try to add the squares there okay by using the fibonacci sequence so here we start with one so one plus zero we since remember our movement, our spiral is a spiral movement here, it's like this. So we add another one here. And now 1 plus 1 is 2. So the next square that we are going to draw is a square with length of 2 units of the sides. So remember we are drawing like this. So our next square will be here. Okay, so our 2 times 2 unit of square will be here. This is 2. And then 2 plus 1, yeah, the, if you want to find the next term, you, you add up the previous two terms, you get 2 plus 1 is 3. So now we draw the next square with the length of 3 units, 3. And then remember, because we are drawing like this, so our next square will be here, where the location of the next square will be here. And 3 plus 2 is 5, right? So we have a square of length of 5. Yeah, 5 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times 5. And the last one here, because we are drawing like this, so our next square will be here. And 5 plus 3 is 8. Yeah, so basically, because the 3 is here, the 5 is here, 3 plus 5 is 8, hence the square is as long as this. Yeah, and then another for the width 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can continue to draw another square which is on top here. Uh, but this is what is shown in the textbook. So I draw this in order to help you to understand. Yeah, as I said, this is uh, related to the spiral movement. If you are interested, you may Google it. So we look at the conclusion for the part. Uh, for the subtopic 1.1 patterns. 
Patterns are a list of numbers or objects arranged following a rule or design. And a pattern in a list of numbers can be obtained from adding, subtracting, multiplying, or divide, uh, dividing uh, from the previous numbers. And a pattern of uh, an object is obtained by observing the arrangement of the previous object. So this is the end of 1.1. I'll see you in the 1.2 sequences video. Thank you, everyone.